I'm Lindsay Pearson, a producer on The Sims, and I'm excited to give you this early look at The Sims 4. You'll get to meet our new Sims, see our creative tools in action, and get a glimpse of what life is like for my Sims. This is the new Create a Sim. It's where my Sims begin to come to life. Create a Sim is fun, intuitive, and more powerful than ever. I click directly on my Sim to make changes. I'm not using sliders. I just push and pull. This new feature makes it easier than ever before to create the Sims that so far have only lived in my imagination. I want to show you just how detailed you can get. I click directly on the Sims' face to refine their looks. It's like playing with clay. I can shape a nose, fine-tune her mouth, tweak the eyes. These new Sims can look like me, my friends, or anyone out there in the world. In Create a Sim, I give my Sims personality. I can choose their voices, and figure out how they move. This is where their lives really begin. Now that I've created my Sims, let's build them a house. In The Sims 4, we've redesigned all of our creative tools to be intuitive and fun. I can reach into the world and make changes quickly and easily. I lay down a room, push and pull it into the shape I want, and I can quickly add more rooms. If I'm not happy with the layout of my house, now I can just pick up a room and move it, and the room's furniture and decor will come right along with it. Even with the many new ways to customize a house, building is faster than ever. These new tools are tactile, powerful, and a lot of fun. Now this is a house any Sim would be proud to call home. So what's life like inside this house? I want to share the story of my Sims, Sophia, Polly, and Andre. Sophia's having a get-together, and, as always, the guys are competing for her affection. At the moment, things are going quite well for Ollie. Check out that grin. I've got Ollie feeling confident. Over here, I can see his emotional state. For the first time ever, we've designed our Sims with emotions. These emotions allow you to drive how these new Sims move, feel, and experience life. Emotions give you more choices. You can create deeper, richer stories with more possibilities. Let me show you how. Andre, he is bored. I'm gonna mix things up. I'm gonna make Andre step on Ollie's game. Ah, and with this sad song, I've made Andre drive Ollie into a state of depression. He just can't hold those tears back. I'm gonna get him out of here before he embarrasses himself. Andre's tour de force performance has given him the perfect chance to hit the right note with Sophia. Poor Ollie. I may have pushed him too far. Over time, his deep depression will fade. He'll feel better, but still be a bit sad. Emotional states will give me all sorts of different choices. I want to cheer Ollie up, and I've got a plan. I think a little voodoo magic can stop Andre in his tracks. By using the voodoo doll, I've made Andre quite the furious sim. And Sophia, she's losing interest fast. Luckily, I've built a home gym, and a punching bag is the perfect place for a sim to blow off some steam. Andre's still furious, but after a few rounds with the punching bag, I've gotten Andre to lighten up a bit. While he's still angry, his emotional state is less intense. But Andre still needs to chill out if I have any hopes of getting him together with Sophia. These different levels of emotional states give me brand new ways to play with my sims. Now that I have Andre cooling down, let's check back in with Ollie. Ollie's feeling flirty, and Sophia's enjoying his company. These two must have been viewing this risque painting. The decor I've chosen has an effect on my sims' emotional states. With things heating up, I'll get this budding couple feeling passionate. And Ollie's got one big question for Sophia. Would you like to see my rocket? Well, that was forward, but Sophia sure looks into it. Too bad, Andre. This night belongs to Ollie. 
From violin solos to voodoo dolls, the choices I've made, and the emotions I've taken my sims through really changed how this night played out. Now where did Ollie and Sophia run off to? Ollie really does have a rocket ship, and Sophia is impressed. This is a night Ollie will remember for a long time. Well, this is a good place to wrap things up. Thanks for watching, and we're looking forward to showing you more of our new Sims, creative tools, and more of The Sims 4.